I would like to thank uh, everybody for attending this uh, seminar, especially uh, Dean uh, Georgiopoulos and the committee for uh, inviting me to this uh, talk. Uh, I'm Haytham Aldik, uh, full professor in, in civil, environmental, and construction engineering department since 1992, joined UCF then. My title, uh, my talk title is going to be UCF Innovative Research on Predicting and uh, Preventing Wrong-Way Driving. So, like I said, I joined UCF in 92. I uh, earned my master and PhD degrees from the University of California, Berkeley in 1987, 91, respectively, in full professors in 2003. Key achievements include 14 best paper awards from National Academy of Sciences, Transportation Research Board, TRB for short, um, four chairman awards from TRB, active emergency member of TRB, Free Operations Committee, UCF Top Researcher in 1999, CECS Full Professor Research Excellence Award in 2018, RIA twice, TIP five times, Technical Editor of the TRR, which is a TRB Journal and Associate Editor of ITS Journal, graduated 15 PhDs, one of them became Department Chair at Old Dominion University, uh, taught nine courses at UCF, uh, three uh, shown in red are my main, areas of, uh, main area of specialty that I developed from scratch, Traffic operations in ITS and transfer engineering systems. Um, <clears throat> this is one of the pictures showing recognition at uh, TRB 2018 by the chairman of pre operations committee, John Urban Berger. This is one of our brilliant students who had to meet with the president, uh, past president of the US. So it's like a very popular picture. He's the only one who was able to meet him. Uh, and uh, the main focus of my research is really on two areas, traffic operations and safety and ITS. And within these areas, there are a lot of sub areas which I won't be able to talk about today, but I will focus on wrong way driving and countermeasures, uh, WWD for short. So why wrong way driving? It's a very serious behavior uh, that can result in, uh, or often result in fatal and or serious injuries. Although the crashes are really a small percentage of all crashes, only 3% across the nation, but we have a dilemma here because in Florida we are number three in terms of fatal WWD crashes. And uh, this is mainly caused by alcohol, drug abuse, and could be other reasons. Like this picture you saw, you can see there at the top left is a crash that happened in the 408 in 2012 that resulted in two fatalities and it was caused by a suicidal driver. So, I got, I got called in to investigate this problem. And since then, my research on this topic started eight years ago. So um, the objective is really to achieve what we call zero WWD deaths. So trying to eliminate uh, deaths caused by uh, wrong way driving. That's the objective of my research. And for that, um, there are two things. One, we need to understand the problem better because previous researchers focused only on limited amount of data, which is uh, crashes. And that's a very small, it doesn't really enable you to do build uh, good protection models. But if you look at other data, non-crash data like non one calls, uh, wrong way driving citations and what have you, you can have a better picture and better predict prediction. Um, as a result also of our research, we invented um, a technology that is actually capable of uh, correcting uh, these drivers without uh, intervention from police or um, uh, other, uh, any other intervention. So that's called rectangular fashion beacons or RFP for short. Convert this to an existing technology, which is light emitting diod LED. And based on our data for the past five years, uh, I can tell you that right now with the CFX system, which is one of our partners, CFX stands for Central Florida Expressive Authority. We were able to achieve 85% uh, uh, of the detected wrong-way drivers uh, self correcting a turnaround and that resulted in a savings of $41 million, three patents uh, in this subject, one trademark and eight best paper awards. Um, now I'm gonna show you a video. One of the challenges in this is like, even when the police knows about the problem, they are left scrambling trying to find where is that wrong way driver. So this picture is gonna show you, I mean, this video, I'm gonna fast forward through it and show you what happens next. So it's a little dramatic, just warn you about the, this. Um, so I'm going to do this. Sorry about that. Oh, wait! 1050, I've just been hit by the individual. 1050, blocking number one.
So we don't know what happened to the police officer. Apparently, he got hit by a long way driver head on at a speed of 70 miles per hour. Both a collision impact could be 140 miles per hour. Very dangerous. And this is also a media interview. I'll go through this quickly. It's wrong way drivers. The problem that seems to be growing. You know, we've covered 10 separate wrong way crashes in the tri state. Now, this is this year alone. Can you believe that? We take a look at what's causing these and what Ohio is doing to stop them. Jody Barr is live with a look at one state that has come up with a system that is already saving lives there. Jody? Well, Trisha and Rob, that state is Florida and where those systems are up in the Orlando area, they've essentially eliminated the wrong way driver problem. Now that's a far different story than here in Ohio where this state is still relying on signs like this one behind me to stop the growing problem of Ohio's wrong way drivers. But crashes have not stopped. One thing you know from this, signs alone don't work. They work to a certain extent. Central Florida engineering professor Dr. Hytham Aldeep designed a wrong way alert system that's already paying off. In 2012, Florida saw a rash of these crashes and tapped Al Deek to find a solution. And this is it. This system alerts a driver with flashing lights and cameras on wrong way signs. If the driver keeps going, pictures of the car are immediately dispatched to cops. The question now, do these systems work? Well, the state of Florida believes it has some evidence to show these systems do work. A year and a half ago, the state put a handful of these up along the Orlando Expressway. Where these alert systems stand today, they have not had a single wrong way crash in the last 18 months. Zero citations, zero 911 calls, zero in, crashes in the last 18 months. Yes. Can anyone dispute that this is working? It's very clear evidence that it's working. More proof of success. Florida's cameras caught 24 separate drivers turning around, keeping them off the wrong side of the road. We've certainly seen an increase. So since then we had uh, documented 704 wrong way drivers only, only on the CFX system. And like I said, 600 of them turn around without an incident, that's 85% success. So one of the challenges too is uh, basically finding where to put these uh, systems because they are expensive and you can help the agencies by finding the most dangerous exits uh, to install these uh, at. And, and that's a UCF contribution and a methodology to find hotspots in the region. This is a map showing Florida hotspots regions uh, in red here, as you can see. And we zoomed into segments that are very dangerous and, and need attention. We, we, we propose installing uh, um, these RFPs on the exits there. But uh, of course, that was based on a crash risk that we came up with, a model that is on statistical data. And we enhance this model with the optimization algorithm that we invented. Uh, this algorithm is actually able to find what we call lone wolf exits that are still dangerous exits outside the hotspot segments uh, that are left can be dangerous. So that was uh, an interesting application. Uh, we, we showed here with this curve that the gain keeps increasing to a point and then starts dropping again and installing more and more of these devices. Of course, the benefits continue, but you don't really need to install this at every exit, which is very expensive, but you can really gain a lot by reducing crash significantly or picking these dangerous exits. Again, this technology, which we invented at UCF, has been showing really a lot of uh, progress and fruits here. As you can see, uh, the very simple concepts now is, is implemented at 56 ramps only in Central Florida alone, and is resulting a lot of um, self-corrections. We, we tested this actually with drivers, and um, surveyed more than 2,000 people uh, statewide, including 247 FHB officers and asked them about what you think of the existing system versus our system. We showed them these videos on, in an online survey. This is the LED existing system. As you can see, it's only one set of uh, signs flashing all around the sign and that's it. But when you convert this to our system, which I just showed you in the media interview, it, uh, you, know, you get two sets of signs, you get flashing in a different manner. And 71% uh, of the survey drivers and people preferred our system over the existing system because of better flashing and extra set of signs. Also comparing to the, the turnaround percentages, our system uh, produced 85% turnaround versus only 19% of the existing system. Clearly a big 
success compared to what we have today. This is another test shown this clearly, you know, with better lighting. It's really hard to ignore these flashing lights above and below, even if a person is drunk driver. And uh, we tested other technologies also, radar, laser, thermal, in terms of detection. The details, uh, of course, these electrical engineering details are shown in the left, left uh, bottom quarter of this page, uh, showing the, uh, the um, cumulative time in milliseconds. Uh, and then now I'm going to show you a couple of uh, movie clips showing the wrong way driver. Uh, going here is a van, and this is correcting itself. I mean, the driver is correcting himself or herself, showing our system flashing. Um, and finally, uh, my, my you know, before last uh, slide, the near-term goal is to leverage these three patents at UCF by licensing, by also investigating uh, the application with connected vehicles, which is another uh, patent, and uh, contacting vehicle manufacturers. Uh, the other thing is transferability of the UCF model to other states. Um, Long-term goals, including um, adopting the RFP in the standard, the national standard, which is the MUTCD. This is a, not an easy task to do, but the system is still experimental, although it's very successful. Collaboration with other, other institutions uh, like uh, TTI in Texas. We, we were able to land a, a big NCHRB project in the past. We would like to do more. And finally, um, one of the major manufacturing companies is interested in, in licensing uh, uh, this technology and they contacted us. They want to establish a lab on UCF campus um, and uh, to, to do more testing of new technologies for combating wrong way driving. The last slide here is about um, acknowledgement of my research team, including um, my postdoc, Dr. Adrian Sand, my PhD students, Galia, John, and Patrick and Eric, and also um, acknowledging past collaborations and present collaborations with other UCF faculty as listed here. One of them is our dean, uh, the job list. This is a long time ago, but it's all, uh, the, the previous research is, is, is actually non, non wrong way driving research. That's what, uh, this list is. Now I take time for questions. Thank you.